Hello. Today, we are going to discuss network management. And we are going to define network management. Defining net, network management simply and speaking informally, network management refers to the activities associated with the running of a network along with the technology required to support these or those activities. A significant part of the running of the network is simply monitoring it to understand what is going on. But there are other aspects. What network management is all about is perhaps best conveyed using some simple analogies. Analogy one. We want to define or explain network management with the use of a healthcare. We want to say that the network is your number one patient. What do we mean or what do we understand by this analogy of the healthcare that seeks to explain networks as your number one patient? A network is not unlike a complex living organism. Now, let us compare a network with a patient who is an intensive care of a hospital. The patient, of course, is under intensive scrutiny, just as any other network should be. After all, the network could be the lifeblood of your enterprise. In an intensive care unit, monitoring the patient's pulse is constantly required. A slowing or missing pulse, after all, requires an immediate response. Other health functions of the patient are monitored as well, such as your temperature, and blood pressure. Because they do not require as constant attention as the pulse, it is sufficient to measure them only once an hour or so. Now curves are often plotted to detect trends over time. To answer not just questions such as what is the patient's current temperature, but also questions such as, is the temperature dropping or rising? In addition, on a more exceptional basis, blood samples are taken and analyzed, and under special circumstances, an MRI performed. In response to the patient's symptoms, Doctors prescribe a set of medications and treatment. Again, through monitoring, the patient's response is often observed and diagnoses are confirmed under alternative paths of treatment, which are considered if the response is different than expected. Needless to say, an extensive hospital staff, expensive equipment, and millions of dollars to develop effective drugs are required to provide the best possible care for the intensive care patient. Now, for those of us in Africa, for that matter, Ghana, we will see that expensive equipment and millions of Ghana cities are required to get effective drugs to provide the best possible care for the intensive care patients. 
Likewise, a network must be monitored. In fact, people often refer to the network health when they are discussing network performance and its capability to provide service. As with the pulse of a patient, critical functions of network equipment that could lead to service outages need to be monitored constantly and malfunctions alarmed immediately to react as quickly as possible when trouble occurs. As with the temperature or blood pressure of a patient, other parameters could be indicators of impending trouble, such as increasing rates at which packets are dropped or utilization on a link that is approaching 100%. These parameters must be closely monitored and changes and trends be handled. For example, a rising packet drop rate could be an indication of an impending failure, whereas rising link utilization could be an indication that additional network capacity is required. Under certain circumstances, extensive troubleshooting and diagnostic procedures must be run. Some of those procedures can be costly because they require, for example, the network devices spend precious cycles running diagnostics instead of routing packets, or because an extreme cases or in extreme cases. A device or a port must be taken offline to run a test. Therefore, those functions will not be run constantly, but only when called for just as special circumstances are required to run an MRI on a hospital patient. Now, to remedy failures and react to signs of trouble, networking parameters must be turned and devices might need to be reconfigured, in some cases even replaced. This is an equivalent of medicine for the network. The effect of actions taken is again monitored to ensure that the desired re result is reached. Otherwise, alternative methods of treatment are attempted. And as with the hospital patient, effective organization and management tools are all required to keep things running smoothly. So this is a short analogy to depict how uh, computer networks can be managed or what goes into computer networks. Now. Let us look at uh, analogy two. We can also use this analogy throwing a party to define or explain network management. Running a network has much in common with running events. Think of a moment of a network as analogous to a big party, not a party you attend as guest, that is an end user, but one that you are hosting, that is you as a manager of the network. Now, depending on the type of party and the number of guests, throwing a party involves many different involves many different Press star one to copy this quality. activities. Long before the date of the party, planning begins. 
Invitations need to be designed, printed and sent out. Organizational questions abound. Do you throw it at your home or should you rent a spot at another location? And which one? What external circumstances do you need to consider? Depending on the season and where you live, you might need to think about where to put the coats. Food must be prepared and room decorated. You need to decide whether to throw the party all by yourself or at what point you would rather use a caterer. Of course, it is also a question of money. How many drinks will you need? You don't want to run out. But on the other hand, you don't want to be wasteful by serving too much. Electrical equipment and lighting need to be set up. During the party, you want to make sure your guests are feeling comfortable. Do you need to bring more drinks? Is the volume of the music at the right level? Finally, after the party, there is a cleaner to take care of. Likewise, many activities are involved with running a network. As in the case of the party, you begin with planning. What services do you intend to provide over your network? And what service capacity will be needed? What circumstances will influence your network topology? For example, do you need to connect many small branches or branch offices? Or are you planning a network for one large campus? The answer likely influences the choice of equipment and dimensioning of links. Equipment, in turn, must be commissioned and turned up. In many cases, special configuration activities and tuning of configuration parameters might be required. This is not an easy fit, given the multitude of knobs that can be turned on, the technical interdependencies, and the many different types of versions of equipment in the network. Business questions need to be answered as well, or answered as well. Should you use the equivalent of a caterer and simply buy a set of communication services and outsource operations of the network? Or should you manage your own network? Do you have the expertise to do so? It's a question you need to ask. Budget might be limited, forcing you to make hard choices. Furthermore, unlike throwing a party, the task of running the network never ends. This complicates matters further. You need to be able to continually make adjustments as you go and introduce new services. You might need to decommission and replace old equipment without affecting end users. And of course, all along, you need to make sure that everything is functioning properly so that the end users of your communication services will be happy just as you want the guests of your party to feel comfortable. So looking at these two scenarios, we want to look at or we want to arrive at a more formal definition of network management. Network management refers to the activities, methods, procedures, and tools that pertain to the operation, administration, maintenance, and provisioning of network systems. If you want to talk about operations, what are operations? 
Now, operations deal with the keeping of the network and the services that the network provides up to the running smoothly or up and running smoothly. It includes monitoring the network to spot problems as soon as possible. So you realize that network monitoring is only a part or a subset of network management because monitoring contributes to management. Administration involves keeping track of resources in the network and how they are assigned. It deals with housekeeping that is necessary to keep things under control. Maintenance. Now, this is concerned with the performance of repairs and upgrades. Example, when a line card must be replaced, when router or routers need new operating systems image with patch, when a new switch is added to the network, maintenance also involves corrective and preventive proactivity. Measures such as adjusting device parameters as needed and generally intervening as needed to make the managed network run better. So when you look at this, you see that we have operations, we have administration, we have maintenance, we have provisioning, which is also concerned with configuring resources in the network to support a given service. For example, it might include setting up of networks so that a new customer can receive a voice service. Now, I want to look at illustrations in three figures uh, that will show the role that network management plays. So, figure one depicts the task of running and monitoring a network that the organization is responsible for. So, figure one. It's an, an organization and this network. So we see the organization and we see that the organization operates a network and administers and maintains the provisions of a network. Now, when you look at the second figure, which is figure one to two, the role of network management, you will see that the organization uses network management, which is the operation, the administration, the maintenance and provision, as explained as a metric in the first figure which we call the network management, the organization uses network management to manage their computer network or their network. Now, figure one of three, or figure one, three, also depicts what is included in network management, namely the systems and applications used to manage networks, as well as the activities and operational procedures that those systems support. So you see here, what constitutes network management? We see that network management has systems and applications supporting activities and operational procedures. And these activities and operational procedures also use and leverage on the systems and applications. Now, a narrower definition of a network management would not refer to network systems, 
in its generality, but simply to communication networks. Sometimes a distinction is made among the management of networks themselves, the management of the end systems that are connected to the network, and the management of network applications running on the systems connected to the network. This, these distinctions separate the terms network management, systems management, and application management as depicted in the next figure, figure 1 or 4, or figure 4 or 1. In addition, networks, systems, and applications might be involved in providing a service. Management of the service is therefore often distinguished as well as subsum under the term service management. Although there are certain specifics to each of these management disciplines, they have, more, they have more in common than what separates them. Unless otherwise noted, we use the term network management in its broader sense, encompassing all these very closely related disciplines. So when you look at this diagram, this diagram is composed of application management system, system management, and you see that the computer network here in the middle manages the application management which has to do with the applications that can be found on the systems, right? So you have applications, you have finance applications, you have computer-aided applications, all other applications that are running on networking devices which are connected to computer networks. For example, these host devices are running certain applications and operating systems that are like Linux, like Windows and Unix. And all these applications that can be found on those operating systems that are being carried by these electronic devices, which we call hosts on computer networks, are partakers of a network. And the whole network is being managed. So inside the network, you realize that these system management applications and then uh, application management and system management all are partakers which are taking services from the main network system, which is being managed by a network administrator. So here in the network, you can see all these devices interconnecting each other. And these devices have policies on them that bring up a holistic network management system for these applications to be safe and to be running effectively on the systems. So you realize that this part of the network are running application management. We have system management. The system itself has its management application. It's also being managed. And the other side of the network which either is the destination part of the network, also runs certain application management, like office application, web application, database application, and they are all also being managed on the systems. So from a source to a destination and vice versa, all of them are being managed by a holistic network management system. So this is a simple explanation using certain analogies to explain and define network management 
and I hope this goes a long way to help our students, especially uh, our technical students who are doing network management in level 200 and any other student worldwide who wishes to understand what network management is and what goes into network management and monitoring. So we had certain references from Network Management Fundamentals from Alexander Clem, from the Cisco Press, and then Introduction to Network Monitoring and Management. Thank you so much. Our next video will be centering on the importance of network management and why we need or we have many reasons to care. Thank you so much and God bless you.